11.30 in the middle of a thunderstorm. <laughs> Lightning is cracking all around us. It's so loud. So uh, yeah, 
still another week. Um, so it's looking like it's going to be about a 14 day passage. And right now I'm pretty over it at the moment with the sat phone and just everything else. I'm the only one on the boat that can properly cook while the boat's moving. Everyone else gets seasick. So for the past week I've just been cooking everything and it's starting to wear off. Um, still haven't caught any fish either, fishy bastards. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Bit, bit shit at the moment, but um, hopefully things turn around and um, just makes all the good time in Tonga all the better. So yeah, anyway, just thought I'd let you know what's going on. Check you later. Howdy. So, Saturday, day seven. Uh, this is what a kind of breakfast this looks like. Pretty much no wind, flat ocean, blue skies. Nice to look at, but a pain in the ass to sail in. With the wind four knots into our face. Still didn't get past Norfolk Island last night. Um, as we were off track trying to keep the boat in the wind, but I um, guess we'll get to see the island today, at some stage that is. Trying to hand out at fishing out, the boat's a bit slower. We've um, done a bit of reading, we reckon we've got it pinned. Hopefully, we get out still the tuna today. Yeah, I don't know. It's been pretty shitty. Sat phones. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I've spent the last two days trying to fix it, but it is not wanting to play ball. So um, from here up to Tonga, where it's going to sail by looking at the sky and looking at the barometer. Fingers crossed there's no low pressure systems out there to make us. Alright, it's uh, Saturday night. Um, we didn't get past Norfolk Island today as the wind has been really light very light. Um, so yeah, we've decided to tack away and we're now back on a new tack and hopefully uh, we'll get past it in the uh, night time. So we're still about, I don't know, 180 mile from Tonga. So it's not I mean, kind of on schedule, but like a day and a half behind really. So um, yeah, it's been a pretty slow day. But hopefully we're out of that high pressure system now. We've got wings which we can move well with and uh, start making some good times and some good distances. So we've been averaging about 150 miles a day. Today it was 120. Hopefully we start getting above the average and uh, start moving in Grand Tonga. But um, yeah, no, it's been just the same old, <laughs> same old crap on a boat, sailing day in day out. This is, uh, this is my leg shift bed at the moment. It's padded with pillows, so. Um, Every time we tack the boat, I either go one way or the other, but I don't end up rolling out of bed. It's, uh, oh yeah, go, go swell. Anyway. Uh, okay, so Sunday. Um, not the greatest day. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night much at all, and we were on a starboard side tack. And this bed was pitched in against the wall, and um, as you can see there, it's pretty narrow and not very long, so when you get pushed into that wall, your legs don't fit, and so I wasn't sleeping very well last night. I got up this morning about 5.30 and uh, went to make a cup of tea and our gas is empty so we've got no gas anymore. Um, can't cook food and can't boil water or anything like that so it means we're going to be eating cereal and cold cans of things for the next 5-7 days. Um, it's a bit shit. And the wind is pretty much coming directly from Tonga which is where we want to go so it means that every time we tack we lose, but we're doubling our distance basically. Last night we sailed over 70 miles and we made a distance in a straight line of about 32. So um, it's just taking us too long. So that weighed up with the fact that we're running out of gas and then potential food. Um, we've decided to take a more northern route and head for Fiji. Which okay, so it's Tuesday, I think it's about day 10. Um, Continued sailing north to try and detour to Fiji, but the uh, winds have been completely in our face the whole way. So uh, we basically we want to sail northeast, and that's where the winds are. Anyway, had another run in last night too with our skipper over uh, putting the wave, putting the boat uh, bow first into waves, which I thought was okay considering we were making ground, but uh, he hadn't slept the whole night and he was a little bit cranky, so yeah, it's been a quiet day on the boat today. Um, also, our French Canadian had his first shower today in 
in 10 days and he's got this kind of like very delicious bath soap or whatever. Anyway, um, not having eaten very well in the last four days, he smells delicious. <laughs> and it's making me really hungry and I want fruit and berries now. Um, so <laughs> that's not helping the situation at all. but it's a very small dot on the horizon possibly but um we were just sailing here there's an island over there we're gonna go check out and um saw a boat on the horizon and uh thought it'd be a good idea to turn our radio on and as we did we <laughs> got the french navy asking us who we were and what we're doing and uh didn't really know what to do so i kind of got jumped back on the radio had a chat with them and uh got some weather so apparently we've got some southwesterly winds coming in and what we want, so hopefully we will uh, continue signing in Fiji, but yeah, that's the French Navy, it's the first ship we've seen in like 12 days.